You'll find a whole lot of additional resources for Nuke on the web, such as gizmo files and script code. This tutorial will show you how to install those things and also how to keep your plugin structure somewhat organized so you don't make a mess of your home directory or your menu py file, for example. But then again, what the hell is a menu py file? Well, let's have a look. So let's say I've downloaded a bunch of tools from the web and put them into a directory over here. And now I'm ready to install the slice tool gizmo. The easiest way to do this is to simply put it into your home.nuke directory. The home.nuke directory should be created the first time you start nuke, so you don't have to do this manually. And once you've got that gizmo in here, you can now go into nuke, go to all plugins, update, and go back to that all plugins menu once again, and now you should be able to find that new gizmo that you installed. And here it is. So that's a quick way to install a gizmo and to bring it up in the interface. Now, most likely you will want to create a custom UI item for it so you don't have to go through this old plugins menu. And uh, luckily, the author of the gizmo also provided that text for us, which is in here. So this provides us with the Python code necessary to create a new menu item in the other menu called Slice Tool. And that will trigger the nuke create node command to create the slice tool gizmo. So let's grab that and copy it into the clipboard. And let's go ahead and open the menu py file, which is again an empty text file. If you haven't got the menu py file yet, just create it through any text editor or through nuke's script editor. And then paste those two lines in here, save. And once that file is saved, let's quit out of nuke or actually just close the script, which will cause it to relaunch and reread that menu py. And now we should be able to find the slice tool in the other menu, and here it is at the very bottom. So if I pick this now, that now creates our new slice tool. So what if we want to get a bit more organized? And rather than dropping the slice tool straight into our home directory, we want to create a subdirectory for gizmos. Because you can imagine if you download a lot of tools, you'll find menu PYs, you'll find Python scripts, you'll find gizmos, TCL scripts, and everything will be floating in your home.nuke directory. So let's try to be a bit more organized and create a subdirectory called gizmos. And I'm going to move that slice tool gizmo into that. And now that we've moved it away, the next time we close out of nuke and start a new session, it will no longer be able to find the slice tool gizmo anymore. So we need to teach it about the existence of the gizmos directory and add this to the list of plugin paths. Speaking of, let's have a quick look at the existing plugin path list. You can do this by typing nuke.pluginpath into the script editor. This will print the list of plugin paths that are currently being sourced when you run a command. You'll see the uh, default installation directories, which I strongly recommend not modifying. And you'll also see your home.nuke directory. So we need to add our gizmos location to this list. And we can do this by using nuke.pluginAddPath. And in there, we simply give it the new path to our gizmos directory. So that's usersfrank.nuke slash gizmos close the quotes and the parentheses and run that command and now let's have a look at our plugin path again and now you can see it's at the top of the list in order to make sure that this new location is known to both the interface sessions and the command line render sessions we have to add it to the init py rather than the menu py this time because the menu py is only executed for interface sessions but the gizmos are also needed for command line render sessions so init py is for that sort of stuff paste and save once again if you don't have an init py in your home directory simply create an empty text file and put this command in there save it and now if we um, close the script to launch a new session and therefore force nuke to reread init py and menu py we are now once again able to create the gizmo let's go into the init py one more time and let's have a look at this path. We created an absolute path, but because we're using this command in the init py that's on the same level as the gizmos directory, we can actually use an, a relative path. So we're already inside of the users frank.nuke directory. So what I can do is simply type dot slash gizmos 
and save that as my relative path to add this subdirectory.